In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the EA app on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. So you might know that EA have recently removed the Origin app and have replaced it with the EA app. So it's very similar to the previous version, which was Origin. Everything's basically the same, it's just got a new name. So to download and install this onto your computer, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below. If you already have Origin installed on your computer, then this will uninstall Origin and then replace it with the EA app. So the first thing that we need to do is click on the download button that says download the EA app. And once the file has finished downloading, go ahead and run the setup file. You will then have a window that looks like this. We can now click on customize setup. You can now choose where you'd like your game library to be located. I'm happy for it to be located on my C drive and you can also choose if you want to create a desktop shortcut. Once you're happy with the options you've selected, click on let's go. It will now begin to download and install the EA app to your computer. If you do encounter any problems with the EA app not working correctly on your Windows PC, I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we have done on how to fix issues with the EA app crashing and not launching. So you will now have a window that looks like this. You need to sign into your EA account. You can also use Google, Facebook, Apple, Steam, Xbox and PlayStation to sign in as well. If you don't have an account, then you can always create one at the bottom here by clicking on create account. I'm now going to go ahead and sign into my account. And there we go. As you can see, I'm now signed into my EA account. And this is what the EA app looks like. This is the home page. You can then click on browse if you want to browse some games. And you can also click on my collection to see the games that are within your game library. You can then also click on play underneath install games to launch games that are installed on your computer. So that now brings me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.